In this video, I'm going to show you one of the easiest way to create your own stencils for rhinestone transfers. We're going to achieve this without having to buy any extra software. This works for any vinyl cutter. First, I'll show you how to download the SVG files for the fonts and then how to create the stencil for the vinyl cutter software. Once we're done, we'll head over to the vinyl cutter and then the heat press. Everything you're going to need in this video will be down below in the description. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the first thing you're going to do is click the link down below. It's going to direct you to my website. Uh, this is my website, so anything you guys grab from here does uh, directly support me. Um, but what we're going to do is go down here. And what I did was so far, I just have two fonts right here. Uh, one is like the impact font and the other one is the old English type font. They're both three and a half inches tall, each letter perfectly sized. They are $9.99 each for the whole alphabet for each one. But uh, for 48 hours of me dropping this video, I am going to make it free. So stick around for a second. I'm going to give you that code so that way you can download both of these and uh, get them for free. So we're going to just go ahead and click this one. We're going to add to carts and then we can go back, take the other one as well. Add to cart. All right, let's go to view cart. Awesome. So um, I actually added the code earlier. So as you can see right here, the code is SVG and it makes it uh, from $9.99 to uh, free. So, whoops, let's do check out. So, there you go. So, if you see, I deleted the code uh, $19.98. Oops. Apply, and it's going to make it free. So, then from here, you're just going to put your email so I can send you the download, which it'll be automatic as soon as you do this, uh, it'll be in your email. And then um, just put your first last name, the address. Um, it doesn't really matter if you're getting it free, but if you are watching this past the 48 hours of when I upload this, uh, then you're probably gonna have to put this for your card information. But um, once you do all this and you get it for free using the code SVG, um, you're gonna go check your email and it's gonna direct you to this page and then we're just gonna go ahead and download it and then save it to any folder that you would like so um, this one was the block font but like I said you can go grab the other one as well I'm also gonna be adding a bunch of more fonts so if you're watching this later then there's probably gonna be a lot more stuff for you to choose from as far as the downloads and I'll do my best to, you know, make stuff free and get you guys assets as much as possible, you know. So what we're going to do now is, oh, here, and I'll, I was going to, I had this, I could show you guys um, the files that I created. So these are all the original dots. And like I said, each one is about three and a half inches tall. So once you download it, you're going to go ahead and open your vinyl cutter software. In this case, we're using Cricut Design Space. Uh, we're going to just go ahead and upload and import that SVG file. That SVG file is perfectly sized. So because it's an SVG file, you're not going to have to change the size. The second you change the size, like how I'm doing right now, you're going to ruin it. So um, I hit undo. So it went back to normal. But these are perfectly sized. So if you check right here. Uh, they are all individuals so we can just go ahead and like do letter H we're gonna duplicate that put that to the side let's see let's do like a E duplicate that uh, I'm just making up like a word let's just take these three right but in your case you're gonna do this uh, and duplicate each one so that way you can make your own you know <clears throat> your own sayings whatever and all that good stuff so let's say this is what we want right it's not going to be perfect but <clears throat> you'd be able to take your time so we're going to go ahead and highlight everything combine and then unite so that way it keeps it all on one but right here you can hit each individual one if you need to uh, let's go to shapes and then let's just I usually just like to make it 
a different color. Let's go ahead and unlock this. Boom, now highlight it all. And then we can go ahead and do, let's do slice. And there you go, you can delete this, delete this, and this is what we're gonna keep. This is what we're gonna cut. This is our template, so we can go ahead and turn that off. Uh, you can save it uh, if you want, you know, uh, but this is, as you can see right here, these are perfectly sized for SS10 rhinestones. You know, the, the three and a half inch files for both fonts, they are going to be for SS10 rhinestones. Uh, in the future, I will have the SS6 as well, or by the time you're watching this, you know, it might already be on the website. Um... But yeah, you're not going to mirror this because this is the stencil. You're going to want it to be face up because this is where all the stones are going to fall. So from here, we're just going to go ahead and hit, uh, hit continue. And I will meet you at the vinyl cutter and then the heat press so we can go over all the steps on how you actually make the physical stencil once you've made your custom SVG file, you know, using the original template that you grabbed from the website you know so i will meet you at the vinyl cutter all right so the first thing we're going to do is load up our rhinestone flock onto the cricket mat and then put it into the vinyl cutter once you're done just go ahead and peel the rhinestone flock and the holes come right off from here just go ahead and add your stones brush them in and then use your tweezers to fix any last minute stones now add your hot fix rhinestone transfer tape and then set your heat press to 335 degrees Fahrenheit. Now go ahead and pre-press. You can take any of the moisture out and then press the rhinestone transfer for 10 to 15 seconds using pretty heavy pressure. Now you can go ahead and peel the rhinestone tape while it's hot. That's everything that you're going to need to know to start creating your own rhinestone stencils. This is going to be one of the easiest methods since I created the files for you. If you end up using the transfers, please send me your work. I would love to see what you end up making with them. My goal for you is to be able to make money without having to spend so much. I will also be uploading more fonts and shapes on the website, so keep checking and continue to look out for the free assets. I do have a lot more tutorials on my page covering how to make custom rhinestone transfers, but if you want to do it on your own, you're going to need Corel Draw and the Design Wizard, which runs about $800, which is why going this SVG file pre-made route is going to be a lot easier. You can also let me know what videos you want from me for the future so I can ensure I'm providing as much value as possible to you. I'll see you next video. Don't forget to subscribe and if you have any questions, meet me in the comment section and I'll do my best to get back to you.